Hello, and welcome to another edition of In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Council Member Ray Malner from the Saguaro District. Today, we are going to visit a couple of the high schools in the Saguaro District, Ironwood High School and Cactus High School. And we're going to be looking at some of the unique programs that they have. With me today is Principal Russ Dunham and the band director for the Ironwood High Marching Band, Tim Ormsby. And also, as you can see in the background, we have the Ironwood Marching Band. Good morning, Principal Dunham. Good morning. Thanks for being here on the show today. Yeah, thanks for coming out. You Appreciate bet. I'm, I'm glad you could be in. And the band, uh, great, they, they could be here with us. Yeah. Uh, why don't you start us off by telling us a little bit about Ironwood High School. What, uh, uh, give us a little bit of history, some of the great accomplishments, and you know, some things you'd like to tell us about. So Ironwood opened here in 1986. Uh, most recently we were named an A school by the Arizona Department of Education, so we're extremely excited about that. Mostly Ironwood, what we, we pride ourselves in is really providing our, our community, our students, with a, a safe place to go to school where we, we push kids, we challenge kids, but end of the day our kids are going to get a great education and they feel like a part of something here. We feel every kid can get along at Ironwood High School. Right. And we really feel lucky to have such great community support, really provide this great atmosphere for our students. Excellent. Well, we're featuring here today the Ironwood High School Marching Band. What do you think kids get out of this? The band is amazing. So with, with, all, our, with all our students here on campus, we really encourage them to be involved in something else. You know, beyond, right. we go to school every day, 7.20 to 2.20, and we provide our kids with the challenging education there. But it's, it's the extra stuff we think that we takes it to the next level. With the band, and we're, we're extremely proud of our band here at Ironwood. But the reason why is they work extremely hard. And with, with the band, you get those opportunities to work with other people, to go through good times, bad times. These kids work extremely hard. You know, there's competitions, there's right. hours. These guys work so hard. So you're learning those, those skills in life, you know, how right. to work with people, how to do that extra effort, you know, how to, how to deal with, you know, things when they don't maybe go your way or you know those types of things or celebrate when they're good. Exactly. So it teaches you all those skills that I think are really essential to, to life but most importantly really it just adds an extra element to high school. Okay. You know, like Excellent. I think it just brings it to that next level. Excellent. Uh, tell us a little about some of the statistics of, of the school. You know how big is it yes. and those kind of things. So we've been around right around 2,000 students for the last you know, handful of years here. We're kind of pulled in there. We have six feeder schools in the neighborhood. We also draw about a third of our population from outside of our attendance area. So there's, there's students who want to come to school here, which you think is the biggest oh, okay. where parents choose to come to Ironwood High School on you know, open enrollment and those types of things. Well, excellent. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to add? No, we're excited to be here today. We, we love our band. Yeah, I can see it. And they're to... excited. Are you guys excited being here? Yeah! All right. Read Zoom Hut! Next, we're going to talk to uh, the band director, uh, Tim Ormsby. Five, six, seven, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Ormsby, for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate uh, you and the band uh, taking the time out to be on our show. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Ironwood Marching Band? Uh, this Ironwood Marching Band, we have about 200 students this year. Um, in the past, we've had two to three, 230 average. We're active in the fall with regards to attending all the football games. Right. We do four to five competitions a year. And then every year we, we do something else added to that. Sometimes we do a parade, sometimes we do a, a city of a Glendale Glitters performance. Right. So we give them another experience on top of that. Excellent, excellent. So tell us a little bit about the competition. How does that work? Uh, we spend most of our time throughout the fall preparing for a competition show that's right around 10 minutes and you have every band is given 15 minutes to get on the field get off the field uh, and they're judged in several areas uh, music visual performance because they're marching and they have, uh, we have a color guard uh, which is flags uh, percussion uh, those are the general areas that the marching band is graded on oh, great. during a competition now you had mentioned earlier about uh, that you as the director cannot participate in a competition how does that work yeah, so marching band is unique in the in the fact that uh, as a director we prepare them in class and at rehearsals, but then once we get to the competition, it's actually up to student drum majors. They're chosen through an audition process, but students actually start and lead the band during a performance. Excellent. Uh, can we meet the two that are uh, your leaders today? Absolutely. We have two of our student leaders with us today. This is Deanna Torres and Devin Talbot. They're our drum majors. Uh, they were chosen last spring during an audition process to be our student leaders for the semester. 
Well, excellent. Great, great. Thanks for joining us. Why don't you uh, tell us why you joined the band? What, what got you involved in, in doing instruments? Well, I got involved in band because I wasn't really the best at choir. And so I was really inspired by Sheila E. to come and play saxophone here. Excellent. I started band in fifth grade. I just really liked the look of a saxophone. So I uh, started in fifth grade, stuck with it. And then uh, freshman year, it was an obvious choice to join the marching band. Excellent. Join the band program. That's excellent. One of your parents had sent me an email and had mentioned that by joining a band and being part of this kind of an arts mm -hmm. program, that it actually increases students' SAT and ACT scores. Can you comment on that? Uh, it's proven, you know, I don't have the statistics memorized right now, but it's proven that uh, participation in the arts, especially uh, performing arts, uh, choir, band, strings, does actually improve uh, student test scores, ACT, uh, SAT, um, throughout all their areas. That's excellent. Tell us a little about these uh, students and their instruments. These particular students that we're going to show you are section leaders, the leaders of uh, the band for their individual section. They also went through an audition process and they're chosen to be mentors and helpers to their section. We include all the standard instruments uh, for a band uh, down the line, flute and piccolo, clarinet, bass clarinet, uh, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, trumpet, marching horn, trombone, marching baritone, sousaphone, which is a marching tuba, uh, color guard, flag, and then we have drums of various size. Excellent, excellent. Well, that instrument is my favorite, because that's the one I played since I was eight years old, and I was in a, a, a band as well in my high school. Anybody have any comment as to uh, how they feel about uh, what this has done for them, being in the marching band? It's been good, I like it, and I make friends easily. I came in freshman year with friends, which it was nice. It shows a level of maturity when all of us come together and work for a common goal. And you just know it's a great family just to be in the band right now. I feel that it's shown me um, how to be devoted to something and um, how to be persistent uh, and just work hard at something. It gave me something to strive for and in the end really helped me find what I wanted to major in in college. So, Wait, so you think you're going to continue on with this type of uh, a career? Yes. Excellent. Congratulations, students, on your accomplishments and, and everything you're doing here. <laughs> Director Armsby, uh, tell us a little bit about how the community can get involved and help participate in this uh, fantastic program. Uh, the community is extremely important in our ability to continue uh, as a music program, as a band program. Um, funding for schools and funding for the arts is extremely important uh, as soon as uh, funding is cut for public schools. Arts is a very easy thing to not necessarily cut altogether, but to take a little bit of funding away from. Mm -hmm. So continuing supporting schools uh, will help fund the arts. And then Arizona is unique in the fact that we have tax credit. Correct. And utilizing tax credit, if you even if you don't have a student at Ironwood and you're not utilizing your tax credit for somebody, allowing your uh, and donating your money to Ironwood Band would be uh, extremely helpful. Well, great, great. Well, uh, I encourage the community to get involved and to really come out and enjoy what we have right here in the center of the Saguaro District. Thanks for being here today. Thank you.